Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to continue our series with our cookie challenge. Uh, five cookie recipes before the 25th of December and I'm currently having a hot flash. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's quite the opposite. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am roasting. I am a little over six months pregnant and I've got my belly band on my Christmas sweater and it's really toasty. Um, so I'm just taking a minute by the door here and folding some laundry. Um, okay. So we have, sorry, there we go. So I have some pecans left over from, um, I made my father-in-law some, uh, cheesecake with like a pecan topping. I've got a lot of pecans left over. So I was like, you know, I've never made like a pecan cookie. And my last recipe that I made on here, I used pistachios instead of like a Walmart wall, walnut or pecan, and they were delicious. But this time I actually had pecan. So I looked up some pecan cookie recipes, and there's a lot of them. And some of them have a lot of steps, um, which I would normally be afraid of, but I'm trying to make these easy recipes that anyone can do. Um, that's the that's the goal. So I did finally find a recipe that is like a small little pecan cookie um, that will be easy to do. So I'm going to finish up here and I will see you in a minute. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion or a cookie recipe that you would like to see and leave this video a like. Thanks for watching. And uh, also, baby boy is kicking a lot. Um, so I have what's called, um, talking about pregnancy it makes you all weirded out. Skip ahead, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> I have, like, an interior placenta, and so it took me a little longer than most to feel kicks, and uh, they are in full swing. Um, he's doing good. Uh, and my newest ultrasound, we got a 3D image, so that was fun, and I'll put that um, here uh, to me. He's super cute. Uh, I, when I went for my ultrasound, I was at, I was telling everyone, isn't he cute? Isn't he so cute? Look at that nose, you know, things like that. And, you know, I'm sure they've seen hundreds of ultrasound photos, but I was like, I think he's really cute. So, anyway, so that's Anywho, all right, let's get started. My husband will be home soon probably in the next couple hours or so and I like to give him a little treat when he comes home um, so all right let's get started coffee and protein shake break all right I feel a little bit better um, I'm also uh, cooking dinner in the background I'm gonna make my cream cheese chicken I do have a recipe for that it's so delicious I make it I mean, pretty, pretty often because it's mine and Ethan's favorite. Um, it's just so good. And that's easy to make as well. All right, let's get started. We need to cream our butter. So I don't know if I mentioned it before, but um, the cookie recipe I was originally going to make, I actually didn't have all the ingredients for, so I quickly switched gears and made a pecan cookie. It all works out in the end, and it actually turns out really delicious. But just just goes to show, hey, you know, if things don't turn out the way you plan, that's all right. I love brown sugar. It's my favorite of the sugars to use. I whip the butter right there, and I'm going to add about three-fourths cup of brown sugar. You'll see in a second that it was actually more than I was supposed to add. But again, we improvised, and it turned out great. Give that a mix until it's all combined and whipped up. Well, it wouldn't be a wouldn't be a true amateur cookie video if you didn't make a mistake. I put in too much sugar. Uh, looks like I was supposed to do three fourths cup of con, one third cup sugar. But that's okay. These are still going to be delicious. This only calls for one cup of flour, so I think what I'll do is I'll just add a little extra flour. No big deal. They're they're cookies. They'll be delicious. 
All right, let's start chopping the pecans. If you noticed um, in my last video, I used some pistachio and they would not cut this well for me. And so I definitely learned um, chopper for a pistachio kind of nut. And for this, you can just go through with a knife. And I just gave it a rough chop until I had all of the amount that I needed. All right, I did end up using two cups of flour, and I also added some baking soda. In the description below, I'll have the full recipe that I used here, and I just added a little bit of flour at a time until I got the consistency that I wanted. Rolly is gonna be a pain in the booty in three, two, one. What a turd. I didn't even notice. I didn't hear him. He uh, got the last bit of pecan that I didn't use. <laughs> what a turkey. Does the spot look familiar? Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. A lot's happened between my last clip and now. Um, I had to make a couple phone calls that were not fun <clears throat> to make and so the recipe was kind of on hold <clears throat> um, and my dough was really dry and so basically now it's my own recipe <laughs> that's just you know that's just kind of the way it went so I did end up adding two eggs and I added all the flour that was in that bowl and I, and I added all my chopped pecans and I had a few pieces that were kind of left on my cutting board, so I added those two. And now I'm waiting for my oven to preheat, and I'm going to roll them out. And we'll see what they look like and what they taste like. Um, I think it'll turn out just fine. Um, I'll just have to figure out what I want to call them because uh, now it's kind of my own recipe. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, so um, basically with this recipe... I did three-fourths cup of brown sugar and almost a full cup of chopped pecans. And I did about two cups of flour, some vanilla. I did end up using some baking soda. I believe it was a teaspoon. Butter and two eggs. And now I'm rolling them out. That's what they look like. I've got my oven set at a 350. And hey, we're just we're just gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> it's not quite what I. It's not the recipe I was planning on making, but you know what? We're gonna improvise. The dough looks pretty good. It smells really good. Oop, that was close. So there we go. Little flecks of pecan in there. Um, and you know these are these are just for my husband to be able to have something special. So no biggie. All right, I'm gonna finish rolling these out, and I'm going to put them in the oven at 350. Uh, and I should point out <clears throat> this is how my batter turned out. It was slightly sticky, but it was just fine to roll out. If you could, you could roll in a little bit of sugar, but um, yeah, and it smells really good. Whenever I make cookies and I take them out of the oven, I hit them on the countertop for oh, like three or four times and it helps kind of flatten the cookie a little bit and help with consistency. All right, I've let my cookies cool for about 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> and I made up this little drizzle here. I just added powdered sugar, and then I added a little bit of water at a time until I had this consistency. Now, I think I'm going to carefully put a little drizzle on each cookie. Make them look a little 
fancy here. Okay, so the cookies have cooled, and I've added just a little touch of some kind of quick little frosting that I made just to make them look a little prettier. Let's give them a taste test. The cookie tastes very much like a sh um, not a shortbread, like a biscotti, like a really soft biscotti, and the drizzle of sugar is just enough sweetness. Because we didn't add much, that much sugar in this cookie recipe, um, so it actually turned out really well. I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, there you go. All right, cheers. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.